in a world where decency is out the window and the country is divided. Barely Human takes on topics of all kinds with no filter. This isn't your sister-in-law Karen's podcast. Unless she likes good style, swag, and amazing beers. Now, here are your hosts, Mike Reeves and Matt Ben. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. We got audio this time, folks. Welcome in. This is Barely Human with two human beings. I am Matt Benz. This is Greg Green Bay Bauman. He is alive, folks. Back. He's back. How well, does it feel? Well, I got to be more, you got to be more specific with me. Like, hey, Greg, come on down to Lonsdale and let's do a podcast. So I've cracked out the twist here. Yeah. And I uh, thought we were going to, you know, revamp the show. And then I find out we got Barely Human going on. Sure. So, um, yeah, a little caught off guard. Um, I just want to make sure everything's... Yeah. Well, I mean, my biggest issue right now, and I love the show, yeah. my biggest issue right now is you sent me the, uh, you know, the, the the itinerary for the show, and I kind of, I drove from Canada to Iowa here this morning, and I found out that we don't have an initials game. You know what's awesome? No, no initials game. That's not fair. And we're only live on Mike Reeves' Facebook right now. So what we are going to do, go okay. ahead. What are we going to do? Um... Well, you probably might not want to share this because it might get a little, but I'm going to share it to my page. Mikey will share it to the Barely Human page when yeah. he gets back from his trip. Well, I'm sure he'll All this out. matters. Not Wi-Fi. This isn't some Ricky Dink cabinet he was. You would think that, but unfortunately, Mike is pretty preoccupied. He's up north right now getting like, getting hammered. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know. Start the clock. Yeah. I mean, that's... Most likely what's going yeah, on. Yeah, and he's, he's in an uh, intense game of bags, as we heard. Yeah, Mikey, if you're listening right now, or Steen, or BB, any of you knuckleheads, tell Mikey to share it to the old Barely Human page. Yeah. That would be just great. Get in the house, grab the Wi-Fi. Other than that, we got a lot to talk about, Greg. You know what? I just thought about when I went like this. Yeah. You know, it's been a while since I've been on the old stream. I know. You look younger. Well, guess what happened? What? Oh, yeah, you got... <laughs> You got hitched? I went and got myself married. I don't know where you snuck her from, dude. Well, oh, it what? Is. Where you grabbed that lady out of? Won the lottery. Men in black, her. She doesn't even know what's going no, on. Exactly. What you do? Here's the trick. Yep. You want, you, want to, you want to get yourself a good woman? Tell here, Mike. Mike, listen up. Um, you just you, you, I I didn't know where I was going with this. But you no, what you, what, you, what you want to do is. You you want to you know put up your be best you know put up put up your best front yep and then get out like I said one of those men in black zappers like yep, you said that's it and then have you know because I read a I, good I, hypnosis I book yeah a good hypnosis book and then you can really take mind control classes I'll that's the best coverage. thing yeah so. good for you man yeah. it was a good you wedding were there. yeah we talked about it yeah it was fucking phenomenal yeah you had Katrina in the background oh but it didn't rain it, it didn't was, rain it, it held it, off it held off yeah. I wonder if that's a good omen or a bad omen. I don't know. Yeah. We yet to see. Time yeah. will tell. Time will tell. Good. All right. So, other than that, this is episode number 13. 13. Okay. It's lucky number. number. Lucky number 13. What were your lucky numbers okay. or numbers growing up? See, okay, growing up. Thank yep. you for that. Yep. Because, I mean, I still use the same lucky number. Yeah. Because, see, right now I'm 46 years old. Oh, and geez. when my kids were younger... They didn't even have numbers back then. No, it was Roman numerals. You just used uh, that little fucking... Uh, it's called hibiscus. Abacus. abacus? Yeah. I was going to say hibiscus. I was close. I was you close. Keep going. I'll own it. Yeah. Um, like my kids were the type of kids when they were younger. It's like, Dad, what's your favorite number? Okay, what's yeah. your second favorite yeah. number? That's what I'm what's saying. What's your favorite color? What's, what's your, your favorite? Second? What's your favorite number? My go-to number is two. Oh, wow. I always go with two. Second to none. <laughs> well, you're second to one. That's second, second to none. Second. No. I, and, I, and, the, and the reason. Mine was, was 22. Okay. My dad was 21, so that's why I chose 22. I was always that next number. Okay. But in hockey, it was 30. Okay, because yeah, whenever I could have the number 22 when I was younger, sure. I would take it because I like the double, the double twos. Yeah. No significance to it. When, whenever it got like post. High school. Yep. You know, because yep. for football, I had an 85. Sure. My receivers were in the 80s. But I'm I saying, guess. like, you roll over to Mistake Lake. Mis okay. Right? And you roll up to the roulette table. 34. 34. 34. Kirby Shaquille. Puckett. Kirby Puckett. Is Shaquille 32? I, think so. I don't know. 34? But I, whenever, whenever me and Cousin Eric, 
Yeah. Big cousin Eric. Whenever we would go play roulette, it would always be 34 because for Kirby Puckett. But Curbs. when I'm looking for my favorite number, my go-to, it's always been two. That's what's up. And I like that. A lot of that, it's a lot simpler, too. One digit, two is. You that. wouldn't think a tall guy like you would like a low number because usually those were the small guys. Yeah. So usually your favorite number would be like 77. Yeah. You know? No, you're, you're right. Seventh like, heaven. I like, like keep it simple. That's good. Yeah. So yeah. this is a little different of a show, Greg. It is in all sports all the time. No, uh, this and, and is no initials game, which yeah, is really. I know me. it's. A, can you imagine if I read you the questions, and you just waited well, until you bring, knew the answer? We'd we'd bring in someone to read, them and then I would. <laughs> no one is coming here, Greg. We are sheltered now. It, we got this robbed is, once. We're not getting robbed again, this Greg. Is a good time, though. So what you guys can't see is there are like yeah. you picture a photo studio. Yeah, there's. Lamps. Lamps. We've got right on me. This is all Mikey. Dude. I'm gonna have a tan. I mean, this is all Mikey. I think I bought one piece of equipment and I have the laptop. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I mean, is, he dumped his money into it. All man. you had to do is say to Tay Tay, "Hey Tay Tay, all we have a four bedroom house. Now we have a three. She keeps saying, "She goes, we have basically one bedroom now." And I'm like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> and she's like, "Well, the cats have a room. The studio is here. The spare bedroom we never use." What do you do, dude? Yeah. It's nice. It's nice having this here. It looks this good. Nice. It fills out. It's everything you need and more. I mean, let's be honest. If you guys needed to utilize this room for something else, it wouldn't be difficult. No. The yeah. mattress is right next door in the yeah. the lip, or the laundry room. Yeah. We'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. So other than that, you got some headlines, headlines. to get into. So yeah. let's do this little quick transition. No. Hold on. <laughs> All right, headlines. Awesome. First headline. You got it. Russia confirms prisoner exchange talks with the U.S. following the Brittany Griner sentencing. Wild. Okay. Wild. Here's my thing. I'm going to take a different turn because this is a story that a lot of people are aware of. Yeah, but a lot of people don't know what's going audience. on. Yeah. So Brittany Griner, WNBA player, one of the most hyped players probably, would you say, in the last 15, she 10, was 10 years? One of the most elite college athletes for a woman ever. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But yes, a bust at the next level so far. Yep. And very political. Anti, yes. anti Very Kaepernick gas. Yes. Yeah. Beside the point. Beside. I'm not, gonna not this, barely human, not the platform for that. Anti American. Yeah. However, here's. It's here's, the platform. Here's yeah. who I have a problem with. Okay. I don't have a problem with her. I, don't, I have a problem with the people who post action. So the action okay. is she, she gets, gets popped with some vape cartridges that have some that have some of the devil's lettuce. In it. <laughs> Little Mary Jane, yeah. yeah. And my problem is the people who say well, it's not that bad. It's you know it's been decriminalized in America. We ain't in America, and it still kind of has been decriminalized. There's still plenty of but, people locked up, or yes. it's yes. My point yeah. is. As a society, we have to understand... There are rules. There are rules. There are rules! I went to Mexico. This is not NAM. Yeah. I went to Mexico back in my dranks in days. Back in the back in the old back in the old days. Old, this is old. barely... This must be one of the only things you remember, dude. Be yeah. Pre-GBG. Before there was a GBG. Here's oh, my did. God. I didn't look up anything relating to laws regarding marijuana. Why? Because I don't smoke pot. Right. Didn't, revol didn't look up anything involved driving. Why? Wasn't getting a car. Right. But what I did look up... Because I was, I did know I was aware of myself. I do have self awareness. Yeah. I looked up what are the laws against public intoxication, having Boom. open open containers, Powerade. You know. Yeah. My we Powerade point, it. My point is, when you go to someone else's land, you abide by their rules. What was? What did I do before I walked in your house? Knocked. And took off my shoes. That's wild. Why? Because you're Greg. Because you know why not? It's, it's polite. Yeah. It's well. It's about being polite, but also knowing. What's up? When you have to, when you are in someone else's territory, you have to abide by their rules. Yeah. Now the other thing I yep. didn't like was that people are saying, "Well, she has to go to Russia to make money because she she makes two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year to play a sport that is completely funded by another organization." Right. So and that's like, a whole nother tree branch. Whole other but tree what branch. I'm saying is, okay, she messed up. Yep. I I I understand. We understand. People make mistakes. Yep. The problem is, in my, you can't bargain a known plug for Russia yep. that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's there. He's one of their main dudes. Like he, 
is the middleman for all different other types of corruption. You're talking about the guy that prison exchange for. Yeah, like the angel of death. Yeah, okay? that's what okay. they Okay, so you can't bargain something like that for a WNBA player, an athlete. We won't even say a woman. You can't bargain that for an athlete that got caught with a vape, a weed vape. Mm-hmm. That That's not tomatoes and tomatoes. You're not. You're offering to give a very creditable, uh, what's the word, what's the word, asset. Mm-hmm. You're saying you'll give Russia one of their big assets back for Brittany Grind. And I get it. It sucks. It's a horrible situation. She got overcharged because Russia understands that America's soft. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. And We're emotional. If we trade Brittany Griner for a known arms, the dealer, angel of death, the angel of death. <laughs> yeah. Then, then, then what I really, what I really plead with all Americans to do, yep. is take that little bluish looking thing called a passport yep. and tear it up. Just tear because it because you should never leave the country. Again. You shouldn't already. Be- be- Unfortunately, you can go to Europe. You can go into like where Costa Rica. Yeah. Even that. Even that sketch. Because. They're just going to take you for whatever reason yeah. and then trade you for the, you know. The fucking cartel head yeah. or something. Yeah. Or fucking. Yeah. Yes. At some point, at some point, Uncle Joe. That was only the first you. headline. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. Boy, that's that's right. juicy. We don't have a time limit, Greg. Yeah. We don't have a studio we're renting. We don't have a guy that's just working on the con to rob us. Yeah. We just got time, Greg. <laughs> this we got time. We, we ain't playing some long con here. No. T-Money. So. Next topic, FBI searched Trump's home to look for nuclear documents documents and other items, sources say. Super secret docs. Yep. So Super when, secret. When it came out, this wasn't the biggest shocker because you're dealing with what was the most powerful man in the world. So, you know, what, what I'm saying is that yeah. the fact is when they got the search warrant, it was there was like a two-week period of time that they could enforce this. Sure. I, wa- I watched all the updates on it this morning. Here's my takeaway. What are you hearing here's, in the here's, streets? Here's my, What's going on? Here's my takeaway. Let's hear it. I have a dream in my life. Okay. My dream is that one day I own a home yep. that has a nickname. All right. Because you have where – did, where did Elvis Presley live? Fucking before my time. Graceland. Okay. Where did Michael Jackson live? Neverland. Neverland Ranch. What do they keep referring to this Trump place as? Mar-a-Lago. Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. I want Mike Lindell's been there multiple times. I want a place. Shout out Mike. Mike Lindell. My yeah. Hello. Mar- Marlago. He's got a fucking membership, right? Isn't yeah. that the place? Yeah. So it's like a country club? Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's a huge area. Compound. Yeah, compound. And then Golf it's like, course? Then, no, it's in the neighborhood, but okay. there's a whole bunch of land yep. and then a swimming pool and then, you know, ocean. So he lives there. He, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 one of his residences. That's Trump's main. That's his main layer. Okay, so how did they know this was the main residence to raid? Why didn't they raid them all? You know, I I don't know that, but what I do know is that they're saying that they found like eleven different or twenty seven different boxes. Yeah, that's not good. Which I find funny because Trump isn't uh, Trump isn't a spring chicken. No, no you never keep stuff of any type of suspicion like that. But here's the other thing. How do you walk out as your when you're president? How do you walk out of the White House with, with that? 27 we saw him leave. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we saw him leave. Yeah, so I, obviously, it wasn't when we got on the helicopter because we saw that. Yeah. After January 6th, we saw him leave. Yeah. Okay. And so it's like, oh, and, it just sucks. And he's got stuff that says top. Secret. It's you know why it sucks is because I'm not in on Trump. Yeah. I am a conservative that doesn't want Trump on the ballot. Yeah. And that's that's tough. Yeah. Because as a tribe, you want to be a part of your tribe, but unfortunately, that's not where I'm at. Yeah. I don't feel like he's the solution. I feel like he did what he needed to do, and I think he can continue to, you know, what's it called where you promote certain – like he promoted this. Endorse. Endorse, yeah. yeah. He can continue to endorse and continue to make moves that way, but I don't think it's the play. Old white men are not the play. Give no. me somebody a little younger. Give yeah. me a little bit younger. There's – Tons of smart. People. I like I like the chick from South Dakota, oh, North Christy. Carolina. Christy. Yeah, they're, they're all they're, Or you just run with fucking Ron, and oh. you just run with Ron because it's the right thing to do. Oh, hold on, I oh, got, got, got more. I got all right. I got, I got, right. I got, I got, I got more got, topics. Yeah. So, next one. Okay. 
Marshawn Lynch was asleep behind the wheel, said he stole the car before his Vegas arrest. So Marshawn Lynch, former NFL player, running back. I'm here not just so I don't get fined. Yep. 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 The, you know, the, the, the beast. Beast mode. Beast mode. Gets, it's, it's a little bit uncomfortable to say he got pulled over because from the details that came out in the story. He wasn't he moving? Wasn't, he wasn't moving, but there was a reason why he wasn't moving. And he it asleep? Was, it, he was asleep. Yeah, but it happened was, to me tons but, of times. There was more than just being asleep. He didn't have a wheel on his car. It was missing the entire oh, wheel. That's a bad day. Yeah, so um, now you might be thinking to yourself, maybe Marshawn, you know, fell asleep behind the wheel in some hoodlums. <laughs> yeah, somebody, Minneapolis, car. no side. Put, 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 yeah. put one to pull a, Circle one Pines. One to pull a fast one on the old beast mode. Out north. No, he ran into something and lost the wheel. Oh. It looked like because apparently they went back a couple of blocks. Saw some damage. Yeah, apparently Marshawn Lynch has got to lay off the skittles. Oh, he was all he was all doped up on a little Molly. No, it's, okay. No, he, he's no, no. It's a, that isn't toxicology. All right, all well. right. But I'm guessing it's been a. I think it's I think it's some of the brown water and way too. Oh skittles. yeah, it sounds like him. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, Marshawn. And the thing is, Marshawn, you know. What are you doing in Vegas? It's not well, in- that's where the, the Raiders are, man. And here's my, my last story. Okay. I learned a lot about this one this morning. But okay. I, actually, the funny thing was I actually told the missus, the okay. Baxter. Baxter. This morning we were watching the old national news. And oh, I just started boy. laughing. And she's like, what's so funny? And I'm like, all these stories that they're talking about are the things I have for the show. Oh, that's good. That I, that I did yesterday. Okay. So got an update. Salomon Rushkey. Famed author. Solomon. So- Solomon Rushdie. Famed author. What do you write? He wrote, um, well, okay, so anyway, so back in 1988, okay. big, big writer, and um, so trying to decide, I had to describe how this was. He had to go into hiding okay. for about a decade. Jesus. Because the books that he wrote were very political. Oh, now, boy. Quick, quick. Lesson on the history of religions. There's three main religions in the yep. world. There's Christianity. Christianity. Uh, Islam. Yep. And Judaism. Judaism. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. They all origin originated yep. in the same area of the world. Correct. Why? Because that's where people originated from. Yep. So, the books, the, 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 the stuff that Solomon Rush did were a little more favorable to what we would call Western society. Ah, yeah. And... So he was anti east side. Yeah. So oh, that's not good. Now, the books were written in a way where they could be interpreted in different ways. Okay. However, the leader of Iran at the time, back in 1988, early 90s, put, I guess, what you could say, put a hit out on the old man. Okay. And uh, so he had to go into hiding for 10 years. He okay. He recently came out, and earlier this week, he was giving a speech. TED Talk? He's giving a talk. A little TED talk. A little northern, little northern New just York. Just pops up. Upstate New York. Some crazy dude comes to the stage and starts stabbing the old man. The old 75-year-old. He didn't make it. Nah, he's, he's Critical. Gonna, he's going to lose an eye. That's it? He's going to lose some liver function. Got some scars. Um, but uh, apparently they found four obvious stab wounds. But he's got like 15. But, that, but yeah. people counted 15 different stabs. So anyway. Guy was pulled away. Okay, uh, but you know, old, old Salmon, um, you know, was, uh, so it was a hit. It was, a, I or was it just some fucking was some, uh, Dave was, Chappelle looking motherfucker? You it know, was, it was some rando. I think that crackheads, man. Yeah, you know, that was trying to sent from God, QAnon looking motherfucker. Exactly, yeah, yeah, I'm so sure it is what it is. What it is, but you know, thoughts and prayers go out to the old man, Solomon. You you might not like the man. I don't have a personal opinion. Never met the guy. Never met but him. But you know what? Teach their own. Hey, he's about the West. Yeah, like, and America's out West. Yeah. So fuck them. Yeah. All right. All right. And now, what are we going to do next? We're going to do our uh, barely human. Oh. Locked and loaded. Yeah. Is this is this a competition? Like who's worse? Oh no. Okay. Oh no. You go first. Well, you go first. Okay. Here's you go my first. So. Let's picture, pick, let, let's just say that you're a 46 year old man. Okay, 46. Say you have an 11 year old son. Okay. <laughs> wow, I fit that call. Yeah, that's you, dude. Yeah. Now let's say that your 11 year old son is selling snacks, make himself a little money. We used to do it all the time back yep. in the day. Little League, sell gold cards. Yep. 
Yep. Or candy bars. Kid had a lemonade stand, 11 year old kid. You got a, got a fucking license to sell lemonade? Uh, no, no, no. That's, that's not the important part of the story. All right. A scammer. Oh, I heard about this. Gave the kid a $100 oh, bill. Knock off 100 Bought $15 worth of stuff. Kid was so excited. Went to the store, found out. Penned. It's fake. Found out it was a fake Okay. We have videos out of the man. Don't know if he was caught yet. That was up your way? No, this is in, okay. this is in North Carolina. Okay. Do you know how to tell a fake bill? I, all I know is that whenever I give, whenever I pass along the big dogs, they always take off the sharpie. <laughs> I know, but unfortunately, you can even fake that. So what I found out, and this is through trial and error, is that you need to dip your bills in a glass of water. Back in my hate Ashbury days, okay, okay, I would drive around with a glass of water, like a like a big buddy, yeah. right here of ice water, and ice you, water. Would, you would take their money and you would dip it, okay. And then you put it on your dash, and you would see all the fake ones because all the ink would run, and it would just turn the bill into like multicolored blur. Damn. Yeah. Now you well, know you learn. But what a motherfucker! Dude. Yeah. Apparently there was a GoFundMe set up. The kids made over. Oh yeah, last they're time, rich for like life. Yeah. Bucks. Influencer. She'll be fucking oh. dyeing her hair blue and yeah. fucking yeah. Good for good, good for her. Yeah. But um, I have never conned a little child. No. Uh, that's something different. He and to think about like okay. You got. I hope he just didn't know. Uh, when you, look, it's quite possible. When you look at the still video of the guy they're looking for. But how much fucking lemonade did they give him? A pitcher? Well, I, the kid I think had snacks too. I think this was. I think it was like lemonade, and he had I snacks. Guess. What a was motherfucker! Like, was he, he homeless? Look, well, he. What did like, he look like? He, he he looked like he could be booked. He looked. He looked like he was. Or like, just released. Sunglasses. Oh hoodie, boy. Hoodie in September in in, in oh, August. Oh boy. In North Carolina, he was trying to conceal his identity. He knew what he was doing. Looked like a little Mike Steen. He looked. Like, That's what he looked, he like. looked like. A, a little machine. Yep. 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 Okay. You gotta watch those characters. Yep. All right, I got one, and it's barely human. Guess what? It's not even a human. Oh. We're gonna talk about right. rental costs. Oh, I thought we were talking about Brady, your dog. Well, fucking, the dog's a whole nother subject. But rental cost, Greggy. Do you know what the average cost of a rental in America is um, right now? That's a very broad question. You're a renter. I'm a renter. You got a great deal, yep. but you're a renter. Yes. Okay. So for the first time ever, okay. the average in America is over $2,000 a month for rent. Damn. That's wild. It's crazy. Just thinking of that stat, and then here's some more. Okay. okay. What do you got? So- you're a math guy. Yep. Two thousand dollars a month. Yep. The average pay in Minnesota, which this is crazy to me, is sixty two grand. Wow. That's Minnesota's fucking killing it. More okay. I, I but still, that. two times twelve, two thousand times twelve. Yep. Twenty four, right? Twenty four. So that's basically a third of your income is going towards whatever rental you have. And that and, he's, and it's not even giving equity to these poor the kids. Here's the thing on your point. Okay. I'm not trying to Make generalizations. Okay. However, is it fair to say, without getting the listening public upset with me? Yep. Oh, they don't. No one listens, Greg. But yeah, keep going. More than likely, <laughs> your population of people who probably rent aren't on on the sixty-two k. There. You know exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's so wild, Greg. Yeah. And it's the the sad part is the most affected areas by this are the places where the most people live because yeah. supply and demand. Yeah. So even worse in urban areas in fucking Minneapolis or I don't know if Milwaukee's like this, but with all those people, there's nowhere to fucking rent. So it's yeah. a bidding war. Yeah. So that makes it go up even more yeah. and it's fucking sad, man. I know how to solve it. You gonna run? Well government tax credits. You gonna run? Uh, you want me to Why run? don't you run? I think you could. Put it in the ring. I think you could. Not for president, but I see all these other motherfuckers. We got a guy, Bill Bill Lysky, out here in Lonsdale. He's running for Senate. Is he a good guy? He's a great guy. Oh, yeah, Dr. Great. Bill, probably one of the only fucking real Republicans from the state of Minnesota. Okay. Chiropractor, great guy, lives in town. Anyways, he's running for Senate. Why not you? He just got beat out by to run for mayor in the last election. He okay. didn't win. Okay. They went with the incumbent. Mm -hmm. Is that right? 
The yeah. incumbent is, is the is current the guy, yeah, guy. sitting in the spot. Yeah. Right so yeah. we rolled with him again, but I, you got so much to say, Greg. I think I should. I think you should. It would be answer. nice to know somebody that's at least doing something. Yeah. That's not fucking. And, and worst case scenario, you go corrupt like the rest of them, and we fucking have a better studio. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right. That's nope. my barely human. Now we'll get in to the good shit. Let's go ahead and do the. Good humor. All right. I'm going first this time. Jared Allen. Jared Allen. Did he hog tie someone? He should. He did plenty of times in his life, I'm sure. He hog ties his wife probably every night. Whoa. But selected to be in the Vikings ring of honor. And you know what? There's not many guys that are fun to watch, but also fun on and off the field. You know, just carry themselves like a fucking adult in a fucking league full of drama queens, right? And he just did it. But he's still electric, you know? So just some stats about him. Fourth round pick in 2004 out of Idaho State. 11-year NFL career, 497 solo tackles, 136 sacks, 22 in 2011, which that was just wild. I think that's really the only thing we had going for us that year. We were fucking shit in the bed. 31 forced fumbles and six INTs. Jared Allen, there's nothing like setting the hook when you get a sack. What do you got to say? Well, I actually, as a as a Packer fan, yep. I enjoyed Jared Allen. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. He, because when it, you know, we've talked about this on Twist. Yep, Twist. A million times. Outside of the Packers, I am more of a fun story in sports fan. Right. I love the fun stories. Yeah. And Jared Allen made the game fun. Hog, right. you know, doing the fake hog tie. Yeah. You know, the the be- the best Jared Allen memory I have is what what is the idiom, the cliche that people use when someone retires? They sail off into the sunset. Right. Jared Allen actually did it. Right. He posted a video of him on top yeah. of a horse at sundown. Boom. Says he's retiring. Gets on the horse and rides off rides into off the sunset. To his ranch. And the guy obviously invested well. And he's not worried about anything. And, you know, he's a teammate's team. And he rocked the mullet. And he rocked the fucking flow. Yep. yep. God. Yep. Good for him. Yeah. What a number to have up at the bank. Yep. It's deserving. Yep. And that's number 69, right? I think he is. Right? Yeah. Even better. Get 69 in the Raptors. What do you got for some good news here? I went in the good human section. I actually okay. went with a good human. Let's so hear it. Good story. Deshaun Watson. <laughs> Little League batter hit in head embraces pitcher for ah. inspiring display of sportsmanship. So <laughs> I know. I'm so mixed on this whole situation. Texas, Oklahoma playing in a Little League game. Yep. First inning. Yep. Pitcher, kid, kid, ball, ball got kid, away from kid, him. Kid from Texas, ball gets away from him. Right up into the shoe. Right, right in the right helmet. In the middle. Yeah. Helmet kids shot. Knocks the helmet off. Kid's yep. on the ground for a second. Kid Shook then up. Gets, kids in, kids in gets up. Goes to first base. Yep. Pitcher's sitting there like this with his head down, obviously emotional. Soft. What happens? The kid who I got know. hit. I know. And it's such a good him, moment. Gives him a hug. And says, it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. You're going to be fine. I the rest know. of the team comes out. Quite possibly the greatest, <clears throat> the greatest yes. show of sportsmanship ever. I know. Why don't you like it, you horrible human being? I. The only reason I... I'm okay with it is because it's Little League. It's that young age, and that's where they should be. They should be like this, and that's why it's okay. Mm-hmm. And I get it. It's a great moment. But for a sport, a guy that played baseball, that it should be more competitive. At that On that stage, it should be more competitive. I get why they did what they did. That's why I'm so torn. Because I get it, and it's sweet, and if it was my kid, I'd want him to be the kid that walked up and gave the kid a hug and be the bigger man. But also, you're playing to go to the next round. Loser goes home. So, okay, I'm going back. I have, I have all of my information yep. for today's show, all the show prep. I'm going back, and I'm changing my horrible human, my barely human, to you. How That's can all right. You, how can I you be cannot, so I'm not. I'm this not trying aim. to be. Okay. I get it. Even if this was professional sports, yep, and you've seen stuff like this in the Olympics, but here's the thing: it was the first inning. It was a mistake. It's not like oh, I know it was. It's a not mistake. like he it didn't was, throw it. Like I coach, know that. It's not yeah, like yeah. coach went like this. I know the kid was shooking up. It's inside. little league world series. 
He's shaky. It gets away from him. I'm just saying that for the kid to walk out and talk to the pitcher, that's fine. Because at the point, the pitcher was already like. Yeah. And the pitcher can't do that. We played with a kid back in the day. Back in the okay, day. I won't even cool. name names. And every game, it was a meltdown. A crying, walking off the field to his mom. We're like 15 years, 14, that's 15 years. I know it's not right, but the only reason that kind of happened was because he was allowed to be a meltdowner at a young age and throw oh, yeah. tantrums. Oh, yeah. And this kid wasn't doing that, so that's why it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's just borderline. Mm -hmm. If I were to draw a line, like don't cross that, that, that was the line. Okay. So they're okay, and it was sweet. I'll go back but to the kid crying when I was a kid... You were soft as fuck. Yeah, you're still soft. Yeah, your, your mom so. probably came up to the coach at the end of the season and said, what does Jimmy get? My dad was the coach. What, what and so it? she's chewing his ass because he doesn't want to play the kid that strikes out every time oh. and then starts crying and runs off the field. I don't see I don't see Kevin Benz putting up with that. Oh, happy Kev, we, this is during tournaments, so we'd play game one. We'd Kev. go go to the nearest sports lounge. Give ourselves, give me some cheeseburger while we wait for the give next Matt, game. Give Maddie Benz a cheeseburger. Kevin pulls. Kev was down. clicking a couple oh. ice cubes. Not much, just enough. I don't blame him. He was coaching a bunch of fucking kids. But then, on the way back to the field, hey Cal, Cal, let me get a couple slices of gum. Oh yeah, you know. Oh yeah, the trident. Yep. He was good. Yep. All right, next one's fun. That's it's going to be a what would GBG do? And. <laughs> That was brilliant. Good job, Mike, on that fucking clip. All right, now it's multiple questions inside of a question here, so we're playing the scenario. So I just listen first. Think about it like the game of life, okay? Like the on the board game. Okay. We're going to see you rearrange your current life. Not your wife, your life. She stays, okay? okay? So if you could rearrange your life and change your profession to anything, the number of kids you have to anything... And the size of your dream home, bed, beds and baths, not anything else. Okay. Okay. What would your life look like? So we'll start with the easiest one first, kids. How many kids would you have if you're at where you're at, where you're not having any more kids at this point in time? Mm -hmm. The only thing I would do differently yep. is Becky and I have one kid together. Oh, I like that. That's sweet. Yeah. That's brownie points. Baxter, you hear that shit, man? <laughs> oh. I like that I like that we came into the relationship with her two that are older and yeah. nine that are younger. Yeah. And, you know, they're close enough in age that they can interact. Um, yep. but I wish we would have done it at an earlier age, met at an earlier age. Sure. Um, where we could have had a, a kid. Sure. Together. Get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then how many beds and baths do you need right if now? You had it right now. We just right now all we need is one more bedroom. So you're at four beds right now. We're four so beds. So five right beds. Now. Yeah, five. Oh, beds sure. One for each of the kids. Yep. So you would stay with the. Oh, so you would have five kids. Well, no. Okay, you're no. I, I didn't know the questions were related. I get, nope, that's okay. They're not really. So the first question was how many kids would you have total? Yeah. We kind of skirted around that because you didn't say. Well, yeah, about five. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Fine. We, you could have had four, but just, you know. Well, the four we have plus one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That sounds okay. good. All right. Beds. So you would say five bedrooms. You're going to need some more baths. Well, no, we have three. Oh, you have three baths? Yeah. We have one in our bedroom and oh, then one upstairs and one the downstairs. The master bath. Yeah. Um, Smart man. It's just right now Connor loves his setup, but he's in like a. Like a, yeah, he's like got the office. temp. He's got the temp space. Yeah, but he likes that. Oh, I'm sure he does. Because he also, because. The house rule is he gets first crack at the big screen downstairs. Right. So, plus, the nobody boys, else is ever down there, really. Yeah, the boys are in their rooms yeah. playing their video machines. Being the teen machines. Yeah, and yeah. and Olivia is attached to Becky's hip. Hardest one. Bring it. Any career. You get any career. Oh, Any I, profession. Any profession now. Yeah. Doesn't have to be anything you went to college for. Doesn't have to be any, What would you do? I'd be a radio talk show host. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Yeah? It's, I mean, we, we, we joked around about this. Yeah. Well, if when when they had the one point two billion dollars, yep, I would buy the local radio show, right. the radio the radio network, sure, 
retire the guy who's on from noon to three, which he, yeah. would, he would take that a second. Sure. I'd give him a healthy, and then we would just do our shows. Yeah. And just to think During about something like block. that, I don't even know if I'd I'd tell you I'd say, Greg, you don't buy the radio. I say we would just do like a like an XM by a station. Yeah. You know, because you have so much more freedom. Yeah. I understand having a show where a bunch of people can listen, but yeah. if you Yeah, it's I just that's so great. I You like to talk, Greg. Well, I, I have opinions. Yeah. yeah. And that's what this outlet's for. Yeah. You know, once you guys can, you know, you become empty nesters and you can move down towards Iowa down here. Yeah. And you just come on down. Yeah. We'll make sure O goes to like Northfield for college. What's that over there? Olaf? St. Olaf? She can, she can go over there. Olivia's going big time. I know she is. She's going to be in Hollywood before we know it. Oh, well, she's, you know. well, she, I, I, yeah. Well, Broadway? Maybe a little more Broadway? What, what might be nice is I'm really trying to get, Jordan's a world-class uh, football player. I know. Yeah, I know he's the next George Kittle. I, 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 I need him in Iowa. That's what we need. Yeah. We all need that. Yeah, that would that would be yeah. good, that would be a good time for everyone. Yes. Yeah, that sounds good. So, all right, that was pretty good segment, Greg. Yeah, I like that. I like that because people get to learn a little bit about you. Yeah. Now we are going. Did you do some Would You Rather? Oh yeah. All right. Is that what's Let, up next? Oh, yeah, and I'm gonna even. Uh, I'm gonna transition. <laughs> All right. All right. Some of these might have gone on before. That's all right. all right. I don't remember it. Yeah. Yep. Would you rather labor under a hot sun or extreme cold? Extreme cold. All day. See, that's the thing about you. Yep. You're an extreme cold guy. Extreme I would cold. rather do hot because hot, you can take layers off and you can still move. Once I get cold, I just, my bones stop moving. I know, but you can bundle up. How often are you really, really cold? Yep. Yeah. Um, stay in during the snow day or build a fort. Stay in. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, at that point. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a stay. as a kid, you wanted to build the fort. Yeah. But Minnesota, all of our shit's usually pretty heavy. Yeah. It's not good fort stuff. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, would you rather buy 10 things you don't need every time you go shopping or always one. forget one thing you need when you go to the store? I do both. So, um, I would rather forget one thing than buy 10 things I don't fucking need. I need to work on that one, Greggy. That's I <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. My thing is I would rather buy 10 extra things because my OCD <laughs> I know, I'm the same. I don't want to forget shit. I would have to go I would go back and I know. Becky's That's how the type, I am. Becky's the type of person that is just... She'll go to the grocery stores three times a day. Well, no, she's just so laid back. She's like, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll make yeah. something else. That's Whereas terrible. I'm like, no. We've I, gotten better on that here at this household. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Would you rather never be able to go out during the day or never be able to go out at night? That's a tough one. Because right now, I basically only go out at night. But I still go out during the day. I... I like my nighttime, but in order to be a productive member of society, you need to go out during the day. So I'll go out during the day. My sole purpose in life is to never have to go out at night. I know. You, see, but I like the night. Yeah, I The know. night's quiet. Nobody's out there. The stars are out. I'm the only one on the road. It's peaceful. It's quiet. Okay. You get what I'm saying? But you're used to it because – Even when though – even when I was a kid, like you, I liked being out at night. Well, yeah. But there's other reasons for that. Night moves. Yeah. The sweet. Would you rather have a personal maid or a personal chef? Maid. I can cook. Me too. I'd, yeah. rather, I'd rather cook. Oh, a maid would be so legit. Mainly because there's something about the way I cook for myself that yeah. I like more. Sure. But honestly, I say I would want a maid, but I don't even rarely let my wife even clean. Yeah. Because I just do it. Yeah. Because of OCD. Yeah. We're fucked. Would you rather have Beyonce's talent or Jay-Z's business acumen? talent i'll go with the talent just because it would be better to be have that be the way that you made your money i would rather have jay-z's business acumen you can't go wrong yeah you can't go wrong either or would you rather be 11 feet tall or nine inches tall well i'd rather be 11 feet because nine inches i'm getting fucked up yeah you know i'm gonna get stomped it just, it seems like... But 11 feet's a lot. I like my height, dude. Everybody says, 
oh, that sucks to be short. But it's like, how often do I need to be up? Yeah. It's harder to be, and it's to go down. By Seeing a tall guy go down to the yes. bottom shelf, it's like, they got to basically get down on their knees. I was going to say, where I can bend. It's, our society was designed more for people like you than for me. Because you can't, it's hard for me to find clothes my size. Yes, because there are step stools. Yeah. Yeah, like at could, stores and stuff, you yeah. see like, okay, let me get that for you. And they can go up. You can go up, but to go down, it's dirtier. It's, you know. And one of the things I've been working on a lot. Okay. A little behind the scenes. All right. They is, like that. The yeah. fans love behind the scenes. They love it. You know, it's Becky points it out to me. Oh, by, by my design, I've asked her to. Okay. Whenever I kind of crouch my back and kind of. Slump. 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 Thank Taylor. You. Good word. Yeah. It's but just that. But it's because. I, do it too, though. It, I figured it out. It's because our society was designed for people shorter than me so it's like i'm always getting down to that level you're so just now i'm just old. more aware yeah. of it. i'm pulling shoulders back more aware of it you know they got that little fucking thing you put on i have a, i have a, a, a it goes brace. over your shoulders and kind of like well i have a brace that kind of forces everything back yeah but my point is is that i um you slouch because I, this is a short I, world for whenever for whenever i'm in a store you know, the, the, yeah. the prime items in the grocery store right. are at your eye level. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, just, well, yeah, just about 5'5". Five, five, yeah. Right under mine. Yeah. Because that's the, because <laughs> who does most of the grocery shopping? The old ladies. The old ladies. In they're age. five feet, yep. if they're lucky. Yep. Yeah, that's brilliant. Brilliant. Is that what we got? That's, that's what we got for, that's like what we that. got for the old That was good. Rather. We're doing pretty good, dude, oh. for me never running the ones and twos right now. Oh, you're doing well. Snap, crackle, pop culture is up next, motherfuckers. Let me find it here. We'll get there. All right. Armed man is ki- Oh, no, that's that's an X. That's a teaser. Teaser. Um heaviest rainfall in 10 years floods the Las Vegas strip for the second time in weeks. Greggy, how much rain I'm talking, I watch videos just to see because I'm like, oh, how much can this really be? Okay, so they're driving on bus. Yes. It's just a regular city bus. And the water, they're videoing, and the water is coming in. It's about at the top of the wheel wells. Okay. So it's coming in, but it's not all the way in the bus. Yep. They're still driving. So it's a lot of water. Yep. Okay, how much rain would you need to make some issues like that? It happened in a, like a half hour. The majority of the rain happened in an hour Half hour, right? I don't like that. Um, yeah, my expert opinion, because I understand yeah. how this works. So the problem, the problem with where that happened was they don't have a proper drain. Exactly, so, exactly. So normal people would think inches. Yeah. Inches very quickly. Yeah. Okay. They got a half an inch of rain mm-hmm. in an hour, yeah, and no it drain. flooded everything yeah. because the town is not built for it. Now here's why it's not built for it is because. The gambling town is experiencing the most intense monsoon season in a decade. It has seen 1.28 inches of rainfall so far in 2022. That's what's causing them the issues, 1.2 inches. Okay. The region hadn't received more than an inch of rainfall since 2014. So they're just fucked. Everybody says move to Texas or move to Vegas, you know, because it's down south and it's dry. When it snows or rain. You guys are fucked. Shut it down. You're you're fucked. Yep. You don't have fucking power in the middle of negative degree temperatures. It's just you're fucked. And you know all about fucking water, Greg. Yep. So I, it goes where it wants to. Yep. Yeah. And then when there's no place for it to go, it's just gonna keep building up. Pools. It just pools. Yeah. It was just it was I was beside myself. Like they don't even have drains. Yeah. Like in their road. Yeah. And it's so it's like what the so, fuck? Where do you push it? You just push it, like hope it goes downhill. Now, when you're in, let's just say our area, yep, the Minneapolis area, yep, or anywhere in the Midwest, the reason so towards the end of the year, when you can kind of get that that feeling like okay, ground's gonna start freezing, okay, we're you know okay. done with that. They bring out the jetters and they jet the storm system. Yep. Why are they doing that? Get all the dirt, the grime. Is that that big vacuum looking fucking thing, that's right? A, that they put vacuum, down it's it. A back truck. That's that's some areas, yes. Those okay. Are, yep. Um, but sometimes, if you have a system that leads right to like a river or a they'll lake, blow it. 
They just blow it right into that. Sucking and blowing. Yep. And okay. that's also the first thing they do again at the end of, when everything thaws. Yep. Because you want that out of there. Because when you see when you see people hydroplaning on the road and there's a big puddle of water, yep. what that's telling you is that that storm system is backed up probably from leaves, debris, whatever. Yep. Well, here's the problem with that down in what you're talking about. They don't even have drainage down there. No. They don't need it. No. You know, it's like it's like because oh it's my. so hot. Yeah. So if they would have just waited until after the storm. It would have yeah. all evaporated. I mean, and, and that's like when you hear down in Georgia where they got a half inch snow and it's shut down. Yeah. Why don't they just plow it? They don't have plows. Why do you need plows right. down there? What they really should do in those situations is stay in your house for the next day. You'll oh, be fine. Oh, boy. They're you taking know. away their freedom. The yep. weather's taking away their freedom. Yep. What do you got? Okay. Here's what I got. Snap, so, crackle, pop. Snap, snap, crackle, pop culture. So, Aaron Rodgers. AR. AR. Ayahuasca. We're not. We're not talking. We're not talking. You know, two two MVPs. Ayahuasca, baby. Yeah. We're talking. He went on the journey. The journey. Yes, man. that's that's what I'm talking about. The man it's a journey. Took some man. Psychedelics. Yeah. Not, admitted yeah. to it. The sure. the NFL said you know he didn't break any rules. Right. Okay. Would you knowing the okay? I don't know anyone else who's ever done this. Maybe people I okay. Would you take this if the result was? Exactly verbatim. Uh, let's just assume that A. Raj was honest, and it gave him the mental clarity. I've heard to it. Be, yep. To be able to perform at an MVP level for two straight years. So I know multiple people that have done it. Okay. Okay. And they do it for. So basically, what you do is you go to these retreats. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in some states they have them, but in America it's not really legal and it's frowned upon still. So you have to go to other places south of the border. Okay. okay. So anyways, you go and it's like these luxurious resorts. Okay. And everyone there is participating in the same thing. So what they have is they have this big room, this dark room, low lit, and they have beds all over the floor. Got it. Just a bunch of beds. And your bed's here and you drink this liquid okay. and you go elsewhere. And it basically is like 12 steps in a day. So it takes you through your past. It's kind of like the ghost of Christmas past. Yep. We're like, you're laying there this whole time. You're comfortable, but you're gone and you're going through all your grief, all that shit until you come back and then you – most some people want to dance. Some people want to just rest. Some people want to go on walks. Anyways, it basically cleanses your mind of negativity. So anything that you held, resentments, things like that. So it's a reset. Okay. So everybody that I've seen done this – like do you remember Ron White? He was a part of that uh, – redneck uh comedy tour yeah the blue, the blue collar, collar comedy tour yeah big drinker yeah oh, okay yeah, yeah. big drinker up until about a year ago when he found out he was gonna die okay okay so he goes and he starts to quit booze and he goes and down and do ayahuasca and to this day he's happier than he's ever been lost a lot of weight too lost a bunch of weight looks great yeah. so it's just like good for him i believe it mm -hmm. but so he was dating this broad last year who he's no longer with her right the uh, lady from was... last year a Raj? Yes. Yeah, he was she, the girl she, from the Cheyenne, movies. Cheyenne Woodley. Yeah, they broke up. Okay, so now he's dating some other hit. Blue of Ivy. Okay. <laughs> so I thought he was dosing. He must have dosed with Woodley. I don't know. Well, if he had his MB, if he's saying it was, well, I don't know if he did with her. He might have just done it on his own. Sure, but yeah. I'm just saying. I I thought it was a lot of Blue Ivy. I figured it was Poison Ivy that was fucking. No, this but is no, before this is before, before it. Time. Yeah. Well, this good is, for him. Yeah. I just think that. You know, I'm not an Eastern medicine versus Western sure. medicine kind of guy. Yep. But I am. You know what? When you get to a position in life and you find out that your success is based on alternative measures, you know what? Go for it. Yeah. He's not breaking any rules. No, that's the wildest thing, too, because yeah. they, they didn't know what to do. Yeah. There were hog tied. Yeah. And you that's, know? And that's what the other thing. Outside of having a home that's named, the other <laughs> thing I want to do is I want to get to a spot in life yeah. where I can just tell people I did something yeah. and I really don't give a shit. Right. Because I'm so secure with where I'm at. Right. You know, because Aaron Rodgers is like, what are you going to do? Suspend me? You yeah. can't. And it's probably good for him, dude. Because the guy carries so much baggage. Yeah, he does. And to see kind of what happened last year, and he was probably super stressed out at the beginning of the year because there was all the bullshit. Yep. You know, he needed to get away. And he seems way more carefree, obviously, because, you know, he's Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, the whole thing with him wearing, you know, looking like Nick Cage from Con Air. Yeah, that's that he did it as a joke. Oh yeah, yeah. But, it was a bit. But yeah. here's but here's the thing. Okay, is 
Aaron Rodgers is, if nothing else, he's calculated. He said in an interview when they asked him, he said, yeah, I was getting ready to go, you know, to get, and I asked my boy, uh, Alan. Yep. Alan Lazard. Yep. Hey, do you have a beater t-shirt? You know, and he goes, no. Well, Lazard was going over to his house the night before camp started, went to the Walmart or whatever, yep. picked him up a couple of shirts, purposely as a joke, got him a schmedium. So yeah. he got him a little something tighter. And then, so Aaron Rodgers wore it, played the, played the character. The this is why Aaron Rodgers did that. Aaron Rodgers did that because there's so much pressure on him right now because he doesn't have that quote-unquote number one receiver. So before he even showed up to camp, he already had a story talking about how he has a developed a relationship I know. I with hope, Alan Lazard. I, hope this that, is, uh, if, I don't know. Aaron Rodgers is calculated. Yep. Everything he does he's, is intentional. So, yeah. if you, so if anyone thought that he showed up for no other reason than he was trying to um, – you know, look like Nick Cage, yeah. you're stupid. He did it because he knew there would be questions and he could answer the questions and people would back off and be like, oh, Alan Lazard's his new number one. I guess, man. I, I mean, fuck, you, you got Alan Lazard, right, still, in yeah. Dynasty? Yeah. I traded him to you, right? Yeah, yeah. I hope he pans out. Yeah. Me. You know, I got him in one league. I hope he pans out. Yeah. I'd hope the Packers suck, but for fantasy aspect, I hope he does okay. You know? Yeah. I got the fucking bike on me, dude. Yeah, you do. All right, so... Next. I still think where are we at? Twist two point oh. It is. Are, is it is. Uh, it's just the, twist from Lonsdale. It's not, the same now, thing. Are we, now are we on to uh, the initials game? Uh, not yet. Okay, almost there. Guy drama. You go first. Guy drama. I already kind of teased it. You have a story about guy drama. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. just talking about normal. That's guy fine. Drama. Okay. Armed man is killed after trying to breach FBI's Cincinnati office. You hear about this? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, like fighting back on the whole Trump thing. <laughs> oh, man. Of course it catches headlines because it has to do with the 45. All right. So authorities say the man was wearing body armor and fled to Clinton County, Ohio, where he hid in a cornfield after exchanging gunfire with the police and refused to surrender. Investigators are looking into whether the man who tried to breach the FBA's office is um, ties to an extremist group including the one that participated in January 6th. So, basically, I got more information on this guy. He was basically one of those QAnon or the tinfoil fucking on the internet, on the interweb. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong with the far right and left is these groups that think they're, they're mentally handicapped. And then they, they, they're the only ones that get covered. Mm -hmm. is this fucking crazy fucking motherfucker. And, of course, he was on one saying, you know, before he went and raided it, or before he went there, speaking of raid. But, yeah, he went to the building, and he was, like, on his social, he was like, if I don't come back, it was, it was for the right reasons or whatever. And it's like, <sighs> why didn't your wife or your sister, they're the same people, why didn't they just tell you that that's a bet? You need to have more people. Surround yourself with smarter people than yourself. So you don't make these decisions. That's it. That's a good call. Fucking guy so, drama. Man. So here's my guy drama. All right. And it's more of a scenario. All that right. you were involved in. All right. So me, Matt Benz. Yep. Mikey Reeves. Got an invite to, uh, well, Mike got an invite to play in a uh, softball. Oh, not softball. Kickball. 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 Fun kickball. Thing. Mike yep. sends us a message about it. Yep. There's a little, um. Let's just say vagueness in the message. Oh, oh you, you guys know? like to play kickball, man? Yeah. Would this be fun? Yeah, that would be fun, man. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. I'm in. You know, Mike. Matt, I think I might have said that. I think yeah. I might have said I'm in. Matt's now on another team. So yeah. here's my point. It's, it's, it goes back to the whole, you know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Yep. You've accused me of um, the, the type of way I talk to people. You call it what? Greg's planning. Greg's planning. Yep. Where I over explain things. Sure. Because, because people are idiots. Well, yeah. okay, that's that's all right. But it's <laughs> a version of mansplaining. I just do it to everybody. But my reason for that is because I was in a failed marriage. Sure. That there was always well, I didn't understand or I didn't know what you meant. So right. you know what? Here's my point. I'm going to over-explain everything. So there's no know. blurred line. No, I get black it. and white. I get it. Black and white. I get it. So what? What I find funny is now Mike's going all out. Yep, Mike. 
He is for now. Those, for those of you who don't when know. When is this? When is the kickball? It's like the 27th. Not this coming, but next. It's so two, two weeks away. Two weekends from now. Okay. Yeah. There won't be a show. Mike just got butthurt about this a week ago, right? Yeah. Okay. So about three weeks out, mm-hmm. he asked, text me up. He goes, uh, every, or he sent he sent a flyer yeah. to our group chat the of the kickball tournament. Yeah. And I said, oh, you're going to come out? I'm going to be there. And he goes, of course you're going to be there. You're on my team. And I said, actually, I'm not. I'm on a guy that reached out to me a couple weeks ago and reaches out to me regularly, Michael. But Mike's got a lot of shit going on. He's looking for love. So I get it. I get it. So keep going. No, my So he's going all out. My oh, 80s theme. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Highlighter colors. That, you don't know any more than that. I know. He told me. Okay. He told me. Okay. Yeah, he told me. But um, my, my point is, I think what we need to do when it comes to guy drama. Yep. Not this, but generally speaking, this sure. is my example. Sure. I think we need to explain things to people better. I like that. Because I think that as a society, whether it's politics, religion, whatever, people intentionally want to be vague because then they can't be held accountable for anything. For loopholes. That it opens our, loopholes. Yes. Yes. Our problem with society from the yep. age of I can talk yep. to on my deathbed. Right. And everything in between. People are purposely vague yep. because they want that loophole. Yep. Kids do it. Adults do it. Everyone does it. Right. So when people accuse me of Greg's playing, yep. you know what? You always know where you stand with me. You do, Greg. So every time. So here's the message that I want to give from Guy Drama. All right. Be like me. Oh boy. <laughs> I think that was pretty good, Greg. No, good one. Good I think one. that was pretty good. Yeah. Let me just check my notes here. I just want to make sure we dot our eyes and cross oh, our. We got teams. one more. Okay. We got one more. We got. And that is what. I don't know. You guys called it. Is it like your final thing? It, well, it's not. The, um, hold on. The last. Um, go with. Oh, it, oh the, the wrap tab. up. Okay. Wrap. So we're gonna wrap it up. Put back a ball in, on. Back in the olden days. Yep. We did a segment called, you know, GBG Final Thought. Final Thought. Like Jerry Springer. Yeah. Yep. We're doing something different. All right. I got a tip for everybody. So GBG's tip of the tip of the week. Yes. Just the tip. <laughs> so here. Here's the thing. We got millions of movies out there. Millions. Hundreds me and the, of thousands. Me and the, cave, the caveman. The caveman Connor. Little guy. Yep. Eleven years old. KGB. <laughs> he uh, got back from camp, was on a two-hour yeah. flight station drive home with me, one to watch the movie 127 Hours. Cut off your own arm. Cut right. off your own arm. But we started watching other movies. Yep. Here is my recommendation for a movie that I think everybody should watch because it's a really cool story based Love on it. a true story. Love it. I even looked at the background of the Verified story. Verified it. Verified that there was, a, there was a couple of insignificant things that were eh, off. But – you know, it, but all in based all, on true events for based the most on, part, it all happened. Okay, the movie is called The Walk. Never heard of her. It is based on the 1974 event where a gentleman named um, Pierre Petit, some French dude, okay, strung a line between the World Trade Center towers on the top and walked across them, tightrope act. Did he have by, the fucking thing? Yeah, we had the. Okay, you're the boar. But nothing else. Nothing else. And he What's did, this on, Greg? Uh, I found it on uh, on YouTube TV, but it's it's a popular movie. Okay. Joseph, the Walk. Joseph Gordon Levitt. The Walk. Is the I main don't know character. Who that is. He's I remember 30 Rock from the 30 Rock. Okay. 30 Rock from the Sun. Or, no, not 30. Third Rock. Rock from the Third Sun. Third Rock from the Sun. The dad. No, he's the kid with the long hair. And I don't then know he that was kid. in Batman um, Dark Knight Rises. He's the Bane. cop. No, he's not Bane. That's that's freaking. I know, but that episode. That yeah, that, one. that's the Bane okay. one. Yeah, he's the cop in that that befriends the Batman. Ah, good kid, good, good kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then um, uh, Ben Kingsley plays Never like his him. mentor. Who's he that played, one? Played Gandhi. Back in the eighties. Sorry. That's all right. That's, um, but a but good anyway, flick. Came on two thousand fifteen. Keeps you on the edge of your seat. Yeah, oh yeah. It's. I mean, it's just. It's a really cool story because you saw how this. Kid, yep, comes to America, lives his dream, and his dream is to walk across. From t- you know, plus yeah. the the thing that they said at the end of it was it gave the to- it gave the towers a life, a personality, and then now to see that they made a movie about this event, yeah, which would have been now fourteen years after the 
towers went right. down. So it was. So it's a newer movie. It's 2015. Okay. And it's a cool story. It okay. is, it's not one of those. You I know, like I, it. Here's when I recommend watching this movie. At night. I recommend watching this movie 7 o'clock at night. Yeah. Bowl of popcorn. Bowl of popcorn. Maybe a soft drink next to Maybe. You. Not expecting a lot. Yep. But you just want to have fun two hours of your life. Boom. Boom. What an episode, Greg. Good times. I'm glad you could make the jaunt down here and cover Mike. Oh, we're going to. We got to figure out. We're going to go. Lonsdale Days is going on. Oh, there's we're, a food truck. We're going to go grab some tacos. Fuck you, Mike. Yeah. You know, enjoy your. You're probably getting smoked meats by BB right now. Oh, yeah. It's probably oh, great. B- yeah. BB's, oh. BB's had some. BB's the, the master of the grill. You think that guy ain't on there? He's got some charcoal briquettes going. He's, he's had something going since 10 o'clock last Mas- night. If, if, if Steen can stay awake past 3 p.m. tonight, I would be surprised. Uh, I, if he ain't rolling, you know, back in my day, we would get swilly. We used to do what We'd Mike's doing. What Mike's doing right now, I used to do with the boys. Yep. From high school and college. Yep. At, at some land in central Wisconsin. Yep. We used to start our day drinking at about 7 a.m. That's when you got to start because you got to get rid of that hangover. Yes. Yeah. You do about three, four hours. Well, there's about a six-hour window of You got to get your nap in. Skiing, tubing, but that's just You got to get You're the nap in. Out. You need, all you need is you need a guy who's going to the, drive the boat. Yep. You need a guy. You need a spotter. Yep. And you need four or five guys that are going to be on the wakeboards and the kneeboards. They don't got any of that going on. I guarantee they, it. They can, they can be. Mike's there. driving boats. Oh, yeah. Think about that. And then you can rotate the guys out. Someone, everyone's, oh. Everyone needs a 45-minute power nap. Steen's going to need at least a couple ice baths just to make it through the weekend. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. 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 But that's all we got this week, kids. It was great. Yeah. Check out this new outro on the way out the door. We had new outro. It's pretty spiffy. Bye, guys. Bye.